Moving on to our top 10 contenders for the Heisman Trophy. Paul and I uh, came up with this list. It was very tough, but we got Beanie Wells winning it for yeah. Ohio State. It's kind of the total package. I mean, he's, he's got speed. He can get to the outside. He's tremendously tough in between the tackles. He's hard to bring down. He catches the ball, too. Mm -hmm. Which you'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to see him, how he matches up against the USC linebackers in that game. <laughs> Ah, that's right. That's going to be the key. And if Ohio State is able to pull out the victory and Wells has a great game, then he's going to be the top Heisman guy from the get-go, definitely. Yeah. If they, can, if they can control the clock, they have a very good chance of winning that game. And uh, that will really uh, vault, like you say, uh, Chris Wells to the Heisman. Mm -hmm. And we have Pat White pretty high. Not an NFL prospect. Traditional Heisman type of guy making big plays when it counts. Yeah, and if he can continue to, at least in college, uh, get better with beating you with his arm, then he's a legitimate Heisman candidate like we have. Mm -hmm. And Tim Tebow, it's going to be tough for him to repeat that type of season, definitely, with yeah. SEC defenses uh, keying in on him, knowing what he's all about, definitely. Right. And P.J. Hill, we, had, we you and I talked about P.J. Hill highly, having a big impact for Wisconsin. And then Graham Harrell will close out the top five of, um, of, the, of the Heisman race. But let's talk about the other contenders real quick. LaShawn McCoy of Pittsburgh, sophomore. Th this guy really has a chance to make some big waves this year. Oh, big, big time running back, man. He's, uh, you know, and he's not going to be going against some uh, cream of the crop uh, defense. So he's going to put up some really huge numbers. I, I, I predict. And then Matthew Stafford and Noshawn Moreno, both prolific offensive players, but they're going to cancel each other out, unfortunately. Yeah, I think they just will. Just a, just a numbers game, juggling touches and, and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, and then Chase Daniel will round out, you know, because, I mean, he's definitely, he's not going to have a great season like last year, but he will definitely uh, put up some good numbers and get, yeah. and get and a little more And they will have votes. a good year. Missouri will have a good year. Yeah, yeah, just uh, tougher schedule and people know what they're all about right now.